What is up guys, welcome back to another episode of Fall Guys. Today, we're going to do something a little different. We are doing a Halloween costume contest. That means we will go through the Fame Pass. There are six new outfits. We're not going to do any variants or anything, just the, the basic six outfits that you get. Um, and we're going to hold a Halloween costume contest. There are going to be three different rounds. The first round is going to be a popularity contest. I'm going to hop into three solos three duos, three squads, and one extreme solo, making 10 total rounds. And we are going to see which costume appears most popular. The bottom two costumes will be eliminated. Uh, round two will have two specialty judges, and they will judge the costumes based off of three different categories. And then the final round will be a 1v1 in a certain show. I'll hold that information to myself. I thought about revealing it, but why not? Let's keep things a little secretive and fun. Leave down what costume you think is the best, which one do you think will win, and let's get started with this costume contest. Round one being the popularity vote contest. I don't even know what it is. Which costume is most popular? All right, and the start of round one, like I said, 10 different rounds um, happened and I took a screenshot of every single player that was in the round um, and we are going to see which costume is superior. Now I said we are only doing the six base costumes however variants of these costumes in the popularity round do count. So I started off in solos and it seemed that really only one costume was popular. Bat. However as I continued on I found that the zombie teddy bear was actually very, very popular. Um, I didn't know that it was going to be so lopsided. Um, as I continued to play, I saw more of the people with the Mad Hatter outfit. However, the zombie teddy bear was really taking charge in this um, endeavor. Um, and as we go on to squads, there is only one time maybe two actually if i'm trying to be you know accurate here where the bad beast costume is ever used anyway by the end of the endeavor zombie bear clearly makes it to round two what was the most popular by a landslide i think there were 11 total zombie bears in all of my rounds uh bat was a close second with six and then both the Mad Hatter, uh, Plague Doctor um, character came in third with three. And the Bad Beast came in dead last, but qualifying with two costumes. The Buff Bean, nor the Golden Cthulhu Clockwork whatever was ever shown actually they both tied for last place and since every other costume had at least one representative from a different player slash fan clockwork cthulhu is what i'm gonna call them and the buff bean mr shredded chad himself have been eliminated we are moving on to round two with only four costumes left the bat the zombie bear the mad hatter and the bad beast let's see who moves on to the final round all right and we are on to round two of the halloween costume contest we have two specialty judges here brianna and andrew well, brianna is not physically here i have her scores recorded andrew is now going to judge the costumes right now there are three categories scariness how good the costume is, good is subjective, and then your personal score on how you enjoy the costume. So Andrew, we'll start off with the zombie bear. How scary is this bear on a scale of 1 to 10? Okay. Can I get a spin? <laughs> yeah, we'll give you a spin, yeah. Sure. You can ask for anything. I'll even give you an emote if you want. Alright, how scary is this fella? Okay, the concept, frightening. Because bears are scary enough as it is. Yeah. Zombie bears are terrifying. However, uh -huh. <laughs> I look at that costume. I don't think. I don't think. Oh God, I'm. I'm fearful of my life. I'm like. Okay. That teddy bear has been through a lot of pain. So one. One out of ten. 
You can even give it a zero if you I'd really want. I'd say a solid three. A three? Okay. There's like a tiny bit of scariness in there, but okay. like it's not enough for me how to like run out the room. How good is the costume? Good is subjective. You can rate good however you want. I think I'll it's give you pretty, another spin. I think it's pretty decent. Yeah, like, because like the, the detail is good. Okay. Like, okay, the, so like, the, like, the, like the stitches are really nice. The color is good. Right. I like how even the uh, heart has like tape on it. That's really cool. I do like that. It's it's like one of those like cheesy horror movie type of, of costumes, yes. and yes. I like that. So uh, I think it's pretty good. I'd say pro. I'd say solid seven. Solid seven. Okay. All right. What's your personal score of this? And you can rate it however you want personally. 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 Yeah. I give it about an eight. An eight. All right. That's a solid it's, score overall. I mean, overall, it's I really like it. It's just it's not scary. Solid score. All but right. That's fine. All right, Andrew. Our next contestant is the bat. How scary is this bat? I'll give you a spin. I haven't, you know, yeah, haven't done that yet. So let, let's get the spin. Calculate the eyes in there, mm -hmm. obviously. Honestly, it's a little bit scarier than the bear. Okay. So what, what are we gonna give it? I'd say, the... I'd say a five. Five? Okay. Okay. Bat gets a five. Because right. you know, if I see that little bear, like, uh -huh. um, in the wild or whatever, like, yeah, I'm not gonna be too afraid of it. I see that just flapping at me. I'm not going to be okay with it. Yeah, no, I got you. I got you. Uh, how good is this costume? If you would like another spin, I will present it. Yeah, another spin. Another spin. Okay, another spin. Another spin. Okay. Honestly, like... I don't like this one as much. Okay. It looks kind of like a pig with wings. Okay. Because, like, if you, like, spin and stop at the eyes, like, you see the ear, the pig ears. Yeah, I see what you're saying. So, how good is the costume? What's your rating on this? Uh, I would say, I'd say a solid six. Six? Okay. All right. What's your personal rating of about a five? This costume five. All right. Well, that's very very good. All right. All right. All right. Our third contestant is the beast. Uh, let me give you a little spin here. Oh, sorry, I got a simplistic look. I like. I'm a simple man. All right. How are we feeling about the? Uh, how scary is it? Not I guess. at all. Not at all. I'd say about a two. A two. At most. Whoo. Okay. I do like the skin though. Okay. Like, I'm assuming the skin's not part of the costume though. Uh, the orange black trick or treat is not part of the costume. I figured it wasn't, but I, I still like that. It, it adds to this one in okay. particular. All right. Uh, how good is it? Uh, the costume. So th this minimalistic look of the horns. The the little hair, the wings in the back, and Spin. the... I want to see the wings. And the tail. The tail, yeah. Solid eight. 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 Wow, we're really enjoying this one. All right, what's your personal rating on this out of ten? Solid eight. Another eight. Okay, 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 okay. It's a good costume. It's, a good like, costume. it's simple, so you can, like, just throw it on. It's not scary, but, like, look at it. Like, that looks like a stuffed animal that I would want to hug. True. Alright, our last contestant, I like to call the Mad Hatter. Um, it's kind of like a plague doctor. I, I think that's what they're going for, more or less. Alright, let me give you a spin. Very detailed on this one. Oh my gosh, I like that. So, how scary is it? Again, not that much. I'd say probably, a, I'd say probably a four. A four? Okay, okay, okay. So, um... We've come to a consensus. The only reason that it would even remotely be scary is because, like, you know, you just, like, just imagine, like, him just kind of oh, standing yeah. in, like, a dark alley of or course. something like of that. Of course, yeah. Um, so, between the two of you, I'm just going to say this right now, um, the Bat and the Mad Hatter, both of you, each one was a point difference. Brianna thought this one was scarier by a point. You thought the Bat. So, we obviously see... The other two, y'all were like, these are not scary at all. This one, you're like, okay, it's pretty scary. <laughs> it could be. It could be conceived. It could be. Okay. How good is the costume made? Oh. Do that spin again. Oh, we're doing this. Right. Oh. Oh. Ah, Look yeah. at this. So we oh. have the little satchel. The... We got, like, freaking, like, uh... The test tubes like, yeah, on the arm. on our arm. We got... We got ro we got a robotic wing backpack. We got yeah. Don't forget the that. hat with the goggles, the little steam um, plug doctor nose. Solid ten. 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 And what's your personal? Ten. All right. Well, I think we already know which one Andrew is hoping wins. I love that. That is an awesome costume. So we're just doing some calculations here. 
All right. Um, I'll give you just a rundown of what Brianna voted. So with the bat, she said it was not scary at all. The costume was pretty well, well made, and she loved it. Two seven nine in that order. Oh wow. Um, the Mad Hatter, she said that, uh, it wasn't very scary, it was three. Uh, the costume was very male weighed with a seven, and she loved it with a nine. Okay. The, she clearly has good taste. The Beast, she said, um, how scary, it wasn't very scary, she gave it a two, you actually gave it the same rating of scariness. Uh, you love the simplicity, she actually hated it, she bumped it down to a five. Mm. And because of the That's simplistic, like, look, you, bu- you gave her, gave Beast a double eight, she gave it a double five. Ah, gotcha. And the bear, she said, was not scary at all. She gave it a zero. Hmm. She said the costume was very poorly made, a three, and her personal taste was a one because when she looked at the bear, she said, and I quote, it does not remind me of Halloween, and this is a Halloween costume contest. Yeah, I liked it personally. Um, Let's go with the elephant in the room. Because of Brianna's low scores, the first costume eliminated is bear with 22 Total points out of 60. Okay. That zero three one, out of 30 points, she gave it four. <laughs> it's not, it's yeah. not going to go well. Let's go to someone who made it. I think it's a front runner because uh, you rated it so high and Brianna also assisted you. The slam dunk. Brianna with 19 points. The Mad Hatter with 24 points in first place. The Mad Hatter, 43 out of 60 points. So the Mad Hatter is That's moving my on. Boy. I will say second place was decided by four points. Four points okay. between the bat and the beast. Okay. Andrew loved the simplicity and gave it gave the beast an 18. Mm-hmm. Brianna did not. However, Brianna rated the bat higher than Andrew. So it's coming down to the bat, the beast. Like I said, Andrew gave the beast 18. Brianna actually gave the bat 18. So it comes down to the other person. The other vote. person's votes. Andrew rated the bat with 16 points, making it 34 points. Okay. Brianna rated the beast 12. Oh, 30 no. points to 34. <laughs> so the bat and the mad... Hatter are going in a 1v1 final. Well, Remember, I, I already know who I'm voting for. The first round was popularity, taking us down to these four, and the second round with our specialty judges take it down to a 1v1. I'll see you in round three to see which costume is truly the best, because if you can't get a win, your costume obviously is not the best. All right, and for the start of round three, we're going to let the underdog take this on. The bat came in second place in round two, while the Mad Hatter, I know that's not his name, that's what I'm going to call him for the rest of the video. The Mad Hatter had an astounding victory from both judges, so I thought it would be appropriate to let the underdog start off in this section. Now, what is going to happen is both competitors will be going into an extreme solos round the last time i did this i said whoever made it the farthest in a solo show it is the first person to win i am going to count the number of rounds and time both competitors to see who can get a win first and then whoever comes out on top through both of those categories will be the best costume because like i said before if you can't win and get crowns in your costume, then your costume is obviously not the best. Anyway, let's get started in Extreme Solos with round one, The Bat. Alright, and welcome on to round three. Like I said, The Bat is going up in Extreme Solos first. And honestly, The Bat did very, very well on their first round. They got a couple first places. Anyway, they made it to... Blast Ball. If you don't know, Blast Ball has undergone some changes where the stage falls differently and the balls explode at a totally different time. The Bat is learning this firsthand on the battlefield right now. They, the Blast Ball is exploding like half the time. Um, we don't know if this is a glitch. We don't know if this is intentional. There's also some lag. <laughs> 
Anyway, the bat is doing their best trying to get people out while surviving. There are two people eliminated out of nine, and the bat just doesn't understand how these blast balls work quite yet, and right there, they take a tumble. Anyway, they're out for a vengeance, and in the second round, they go straight to another final, and they go into Hexagon. So, yeah, the bat is feeling a lot better about this. Hexagon has not been changed. Blast Ball has. The bat feels a little gypped, um, a little chip on their shoulder, if you will, and the bat is going to do everything they can to humiliate the Mad Hatter and get this win. Now... This is only round two, however, the time for the bat as well as other people to complete the courses has taken a toll. We are at about ten and a half minutes right now for the bat, which, I mean, I guess is pretty good. Um, but, I mean, you know, 20 people get eliminated and then there's those few people at the end of the stage just dancing going, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. it does take a long time, so we are at about just passing 11 minutes right now and this is getting quite dire for the bat because the mad hatter all the mad hatter needs to do is finish within two rounds and have no people wait at the end at the finish line because the bat had people wait at the finish line in both their rounds um so if the mad hatter just has some supporters that doesn't waste his time he is sitting really really pretty for this final round for this endeavor this 1v1 whatever you want to call it anyway the bat is going to try and just stall for some time on the next to last platform and everyone is on the bottom platform now it's about to get crazy uh, our first person has just fallen so the bat is trying to carve out this little section right here so that no one can jump over um, they do have an uninvited guest and they're just trying to cut him off. It's not really working. However, they did fall. So the bat is loving life. They're going to cut this person off right here so they can't jump over here and ruin their momentum. And tons of people have fallen. One more person needs to fall. The bat looks over, finds that they have more platforms than they do. And the person mistimes their jump, falls off giving the bat the win after round two, 12 and a half minutes. The Mad Hatter needs to beat 12 and a half minutes in order to win. It's possible, but the bat did perform very well. So on to the Mad Hatter. This is Andrew's favorite. He's rooting for the Mad Hatter. Let's see if the Mad Hatter can match the bat in their skill and how often they make it to a final. Well, to start off, the Mad Hatter does great. Makes it to the final in record time. Tons of people fell in, I believe it was Slime Climb, actually. Tons of people got eliminated. And actually, after just three rounds, we're at the final. So it's only been four minutes, and the Mad Hatter's in their first final. So this is already stellar for the Mad Hatter. At this pace, the Mad Hatter could honestly um, go to a third final and still beat the bat in time um, keep in mind we are basing the time on the semi 10 measures if you don't know what that means every time we enter a game we start the timer and we don't pause the timer between rounds but between games so if we get eliminated we pause the timer however load times between which round has not been paused so four minutes has passed it's about it's encroaching onto five right now as we saw we had almost a sabotager of the mad hatter on that right side of the field and the mad hatter just decided to leave it um they said look i took up a lot of space on that side let me just come over to the left with cthulhu who honestly showed up late because they needed to be seen in the popularity round. However, that's neither here nor there. Um, anyway, the Mad Hatter is just trying to find any blue space. He knows the left side has been taken up quite a bit. The right side has been taken up quite a bit. And also on that right side, there is a grabber. So they are doing everything in their power just to be on any platform. And the left side is getting very, very dire right now. Tons of red spots are only left. And Mad the Mad Hatter's taken up probably half of those already. Um, the Mad Hatter's freaking out right now. 
There is very little room to maneuver. There is a person in front. Um, and there are only two people left. One of them is that grabber, the white bean on that right side. And the Mad Hatter is just doing everything he can to survive. Um, because it's about on to six minutes now. The bat has gained tons of time. Hexaring is not a game mode you want to try and time out. And the Mad Hatter takes a tumble. Six minutes have gone. And in the next round, about the semifinals right here, the Mad Hatter gets Pipe Dream. Now, the only reason I would show you Pipe Dream is anything can happen. If everyone gets eliminated and the Mad Hatter wins this, then the Mad Hatter still wins. They don't have to go to a final. They don't have to do anything. The Mad Hatter can win right here if everyone gets eliminated. So it's the round before the semifinals, the quarterfinals. Oh, words are hard. And yeah, the Mad Hatter has had a great start. We're on to about, at this point, I'm pretty sure we're at eight minutes now. So we're closing in on 12 minutes. The Mad Hatter just has to dive and gets brutalized by a balloon. Sending into a third round. However, they still have plenty of time. They are at, I believe, 10 minutes and 45 seconds. I'm pretty sure. Almost at 11 minutes. The Mad Hatter has to win within a minute and a half to beat the bat. But, last ball is the round the Mad Hatter received. And as we have learned from the bat's performance... The ball explosion has changed, the droppage of the field has changed, how it falls, and the order in which it falls. Tons of that has changed, so the Mad Hatter took notes when the bat was on the field. Almost gets blown up by a ball, and again, but the Mad Hatter's staying on. Maybe the, the hat is a little top-heavy, keeping him grounded, if you will. Tons of people are falling and just, like, stumbling, because they don't understand how this works. A Mad Hatter friend actually comes by, and Mad Hatter's going to try and mess up this bat over here. Um, they see that this bat is very bloodthirsty, almost dies, but tanks the hit. Again, I think this hat has cement in it or something. We have three Mad Hatters and a bat. Now, even if the Mad Hatter can't beat the bat in time, he wants to beat the this bat on the field. And all that's left are Mad Hatters. Mad Hatter wants to prove he is the superior one. He has to do this in 30 seconds. Time is running short. And there's not a lot of time to maneuver. The Mad Hatter has to make some crazy moves, making sure he doesn't die. And the timer is almost up. Something insane has to happen. One of them falls off. And then the Mad Hatter realizes... It's a family member. It is a reunion on Blast Ball. Uncle Stevens has shown up to support him in this role. He even got out the fake Mad Hatter that was trying to get rid of him. And in this glorious family reunion, the Mad Hatter totally forgets about the time limit. And in three, two, one. As the Mad Hatter does cartwheels with his uncle, the bat is victorious. Now, after that pipe dream fall, the Mad Hatter thought, there's no way I can win. Very demoralized going into this third round. And the uncle knew that and hopped in this round. However, this family reunion might have costed the Mad Hatter this win against the bat if you voted for the bat congratulations you have won the timer is still going the mad hatter is just having this glorious reunion with his uncle and here's what i'm talking about with the floor falling the two side platforms were left and the mad hatter does get a win however it is a whole minute late congratulations to the bat I hope you guys enjoyed the Halloween costume contest, and let's get to the end of the video. And there you have it. That is going to do it for the first official Fall Guys Halloween costume contest. Both our competitors did good, but in the end, the bat 
was just able to outperform the Mad Hatter. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. And if you voted on Team Bat, good job. You have bragging rights and a theoretical cookie. See you next time.